this little baby has been in the oven for 25 minutes. And let me show you how crispy that top looks. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a keto mac and cheese. So, we're gonna make two different types. We are gonna make a um, actual like elbow macaroni um, mac and cheese, and we are also going to make a version with cauliflower. So, if you wanna stick to a super clean keto diet, or you just want a, you know, a low carb option where you're eating whole foods that haven't been processed, then you'd go with the, uh, with the cauliflower. And if you don't mind that and you're, you know, you're okay with eating some, what's in here? There's pea protein isolate, what, um, oat fiber, wheat fiber, egg whites, and gluten. So this is, does contain gluten and you're okay with eating gluten, then you can use a pasta substitute. This is what, um, I have on hand, but you can use any any pasta substitute that you typically use and it's gonna work just fine because obviously if we can make it with um, cauliflower, then you can make it with a pasta substitute, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started with um, boiling our little macaroni and we are going to um, open this up. Let's smell it, I don't know. I, I'm not a huge, huge um, pasta fan. But, so I typically like mine with like a veggie, but I know some of you are totally, you know, you guys just want the real, the closest thing to the real deal, and that's what I am doing here for you. So we're gonna give this pasta a try, see how it turns out, and um, we're gonna start off by boiling this. So let's go to the stove and boil this little baby. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna half, I'm only gonna use half of the pasta because I am going to make half of the cauliflower. So um, this recipe is for one. So if you were just making all pasta, then you would still use the same recipe. And if you were using all cauliflower, then you would still use all the, the same measurements for either or. But since I'm doing half and half, we are going to, um, so we're just gonna put in about half the bag. I'm just eyeballing it. That looks about half, okay? So let's go ahead and turn on our water. And this water already has a little salt. And um, we are just going to give it a little mix and let this boil um, for seven minutes, I believe. That's what the packaging instructions call for. Eight minutes, eight minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. And I will show you um, the next step because we also have to do our cauliflower. So I'm gonna put our cauliflower in another pot. Okay, so you can do one of two things. You can try to chop this all up or you can throw it in a food processor. Okay guys, so this is one head of cauliflower, but again, we're using half the packet of the macaroni, half the packet, I mean half of the, um, the head of cauliflower. So we're literally just gonna half it. And of course, if you were not using the pasta, then you would just make the recipe with the entire head of cauliflower, okay? So we're gonna put this in the water to boil, to soften, and um, then we are making mac and cheese. So we have half of our, our cauliflower in here. We're just gonna pour that right into our water. I think it probably needs about another two minutes. And then this one here, we will let it uh, boil until it softens, so we'll time it. So we have half of a huge onion and we are only gonna use half of a half, okay? So if you have a small onion, then you would, I would say this will end up being about mm, half a cup. Yeah, so I'm just gonna Let me show you the mac. Oh, 
that's what we're working with right now. So we're gonna drain this so that it doesn't get like overcooked. Um, let's see what it feels like. Yeah, it feels like the normal macaroni, but we shall see. We shall see how it turns out. Let's go ahead and drain it. So let's go ahead and drain. See, this is only half the bag. Makes a really good amount. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our cheese sauce. So here we have our butter. So we're gonna start off with butter. Make it a little too hot. Lower the heat. Okay, so I almost made some brown butter. It's okay. Um, you guys just don't, you just put your onions right away. And obviously don't have your heat so high. This is gonna taste great because brown butter is delicious. And now we're going to saute our onion until they are nice and translucent. So we have our onions and now let's go ahead and add our garlic. So I'm using minced garlic. I just, we're doing one teaspoon. You can use fresh garlic, of course. Make sure, yeah. So one teaspoon of minced garlic. Mix that all up. Oh my God, it smells so good. Wow. Onions and garlic are my favorite. And now we're gonna make our roux. So we are using, I'm gonna test this out here. We are using the keto wheat flour. This is not um, gluten free. So if you wanna use, um, if you wanna keep it gluten free, then you would just use some xanthan gum and I will link it in the description below. So now let's add our tablespoon of this keto wheat flour and mix. Just like that, you can Get our little spatula so we don't scratch our pots. Okay, and now we're going to add our heavy cream. This is two cups of heavy cream. Perfection. Get every last bit of our cream. Okay, and now we mix. Let's give that a little mix before we add in our next ingredient. So our next ingredient here is our cream cheese and we have two ounces of cream cheese. Just pop that in and let it melt. Guys, this is going to like knock your socks off. So let me show you really quickly while our cheese sauce is still um, cooking, I'm going to drain this, okay? Because I don't want it to get mushy. So, Val's gonna help me. Let's see, that's not burning. It's the smallest strainer. <laughs> Making a mess, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, that looks good. I, I thought I might have overcooked it, but that's good. You can see it's not mushy. Okay, so we're gonna let them cool here. Let's finish up our sauce. Ooh. Yes, girl. And xanthan gum is gluten-free, so remember, um, if you don't have this, this uh, keto wheat flour, or you are looking for a gluten-free mac and cheese, for gluten-free, you will use the cauliflower and xanthan versus the noodles and the uh, keto wheat flour, okay? So I will explain that to you guys right now once we get back to my counter. Just remember with xanthan gum, xanthan gum is very, very powerful, so you will not be using one tablespoon. I will put the I will put the measurements in the description below, but you were gonna use more a more like a, a teaspoon versus a tablespoon. Okay, this looks perfect. Let's go ahead and add our cheese. Beautiful. And here we have this is some sharp cheddar cheese that we grated ourselves. And this is one cup. Oh, we're using three different types of cheeses. I actually just found one yesterday at Costco and I really am excited to try it. 
it's like a blend. So this is a half cup. This is not the one I found at Costco. This is the one from Trader Joe's and it's called the, um, the Unexpected Cheddar Cheese. And I heard it's so bomb. And this is about a half cup. So we're just gonna throw it right in. Okay, give that a little mix. And then we have this new one that I just found at Costco. And we're gonna use a half cup of this bad boy here. So it's this one here, if you can see that. I don't know if you guys have tried it. This has cheddar, fontina, and Swiss blend. And so it says here, mac and cheese. So I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> and then this is the baked potato and the frittata. So um, yeah, I figured that this would be a great cheese to use and we're using a half cup. So here we are. And let's give that a blend or a mix. Looks bomb. Oh my gosh. Like, let's just make nachos right now. And we have some black peppercorn. And this is more to taste. Then we have some garlic powder. We're just gonna use a little quarter teaspoon just to make sure that it has that flavor we're looking for because you don't want bland mac and cheese, right? No, 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 no. So cheese is usually salty enough, but you can taste your cheese, see where it's at, and maybe just add like a little pinch of salt. Um, I always use my real salt. This is un processed, unrefined salt. It is mineral salt and um, it's honestly the best salt out there. So we'll do a little pinch of salt and give it a taste. And if it needs any more, then I'll add a little more. But if you guys haven't grabbed this salt, um, I do have a little discount code for you guys. It's low carb love and it is linked in the description below. So this definitely makes a difference, not only in taste, but this is healthy for you. It's not like, what is it called? Iodized salt. Okay, so this is completely optional, but if you want your cheese to have, your mac and cheese to have more color, you can use turmeric. And it's not much because again, it's more for color. So optional, optional, but we are doing a quarter teaspoon and you're gonna see how everything is just going to look so much more, uh, like the cheese color will just look so much more vibrant. But if you don't care for it or you don't have it, again, it is optional, okay? Okay, so I'm looking at this and I feel like it definitely, it's not as thick as I'd want it to be. So what I'm gonna do is add one more cup of the sharp cheddar, okay? And this is just the block cheese from Costco. You can just get it from your local store. I shredded this myself, but um, even a pre-shredded would work if you wanna just make your life easier. But of course, just always know that a, um, a pre-shredded cheese does contain a little bit of starch. So just keep those things in mind if you're trying to live a super clean keto lifestyle. I was just saying that I really like the turmeric and that if you guys have it, you should really use it. Um, what I'm doing here is separating the cheese in half because remember, I'm making half and half, but you guys would only be using one, so don't worry about that. You would actually just throw everything right in here into one and then i will show you the next step so okay val's helping me pour the pasta so these are the noodles and they didn't stick because chefy tip she put some olive oil on it and here is the mac and cheese coming together Ooh get ready guys get ready for this how does that look? Comment down below. Let me know if you are obsessed with mac and cheese. What type of mac and cheese do you guys like? Lobster, bacon, I don't even know if there's different types, but let me know. So here is our cauliflower, and this is one full head of cauliflower. So if you're gonna use all the cheese, you would need two heads of cauliflower or you half the cheese sauce, okay? So, now what we're gonna do is throw in our cheese sauce right in over our cauliflower. Now we're gonna mix this together. So this is the gluten-free, low-carb, keto version with no noodles, okay? So this is the gluten-free version. And it's looking perfect. Very, very cheesy. 
Okay, guys, so here is our mac and cheese. Um, let me show you what we're gonna do here. So I got a, um, like a dish that's a little more flat so that we can do half and half. So here we have the mac and cheese with the macaroni. So this one does have gluten. Remember, if you are sticking to gluten-free, you're gonna do the cauliflower version. And trust me, it's just as delicious. So um, we're gonna start off by placing it on one side. And I will show you what we're gonna do um, to make it just more presentable, like if you want this for Thanksgiving, but this is ready to eat as is. Like, let's say you're just making a quick dinner and you just want mac and cheese. This here is done. It is ready and you can just serve it now. And I swear it's amazing, but I'm gonna show you how to, how to take your low carb mac and cheese to the next level. So now we're going to place our cauliflower. This is our gluten-free, keto, clean keto mac and cheese. And I might have cooked it just a tad bit over, but I don't like hard pieces of cauliflower. That's just me personally. So it's gonna be fine for me. So we're just going to not measure. It's just kind of like sprinkled on top. Um, however, you know, if you guys love to go crazy on cheese, then you can totally do that. Um, you know, mac and cheese is not really like a, a calorie conscious uh, meal. So if you're gonna just have mac and cheese, just enjoy it. Okay, you don't eat this every day. So you wanna just enjoy it. Okay, so this bread here, um, it does have gluten. So again, if you are trying to stick to a gluten free version, you will go with the cauliflower. And instead of bread, you will use pork rinds. Unless you don't eat pork, then you would just omit it all together and just broil it as so, okay? So I'm just letting you know there are two different options. Here's the Sola bread. Um, I have a discount code for you guys, which is low carb love. And this has two net carbs. I don't know if you can see that. It's two net carbs per slice and it has 70 calories. So we have that and then this little guy here is the porking good this one's stupid hot we're gonna get a little a little kick in um on our mac and cheese and of course this is gluten free and it has zero carbs so it really just depends what we're gonna do because we're you know we experiment with everything we're actually going to mix the two together so val's gonna show us how we're going to make our own breadcrumbs because i usually just use um i usually just use the pork rinds but I'm super excited to make our own breadcrumbs. So let's do this. Okay, so Val's over there pouring a third cup of pork rinds. So These are already yeah, crumbled. They're, yeah, they're already crumbled, so. And only Myra opens her jars like this where it looks <laughs> like a rat got in. <laughs> it's just so it doesn't pour all over the place. You see, guys? They're trying to be like, just doing little things in here all chef life and then Val just ruins first my bubble so now we're gonna go ahead and add our bread this is already crisp we wrote we baked this at 350 um, so let's go ahead and add this in and now Val has another little chef tip and then to make it like super super crispy we are using Parmesan cheese so just a third cup of that recipe in the description box if, they, if you want it to taste a little bit more like herby, herby. Um, it's your preference, but it's just like a little bit. Optional, of course. Optional. So maybe like a fourth to a half teaspoon. A fourth to a half teaspoon. Okay guys, here we go. If you guys are not gonna end up using the pork rinds, remember the, these pork rinds are seasoned. They are the, the stupid hot flavor. So, um, so, um, you will want to add salt if you're only using the bread because the bread has no, basically no flavor or salt, okay? Okay, so we have our breadcrumbs and now we are going to top our mac and cheese. So here we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna spray some avocado oil 
This is just pure avocado oil over the top and just like that. Beautiful. And now we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes until it is golden brown. And let's go. All right guys, so this little baby has been in the oven for 25 minutes. And let me show you how crispy that top looks. You can see that little bit of bubble. There's some cheese trying to sneak out over there in the corner. Mm -hmm. Wow, take a look at this beauty. OMG. Tell me this does not look like the real deal. Okay, and we're gonna get a little bit of both sides so that we can compare. And of course, you guys know this is my favorite part. We've been fasting all day, so I'm so hungry and I cannot wait to try this. So we are gonna go in with the cauliflower version. Let's go ahead and do the taste test. Okay, here we go. Mm. Wow, this is delicious. This is so good. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna, I can't wait for you guys to make this. Um, let's go ahead and taste the macaroni version and we will compare. Mm. Wow, these taste like pasta. They are so good. If you're not afraid of gluten, then you will be very satisfied with this. And this one here, even if you are or aren't and you're just trying to make a clean version of mac and cheese. This is phenomenal. <gasps> wow. This is a winner, guys. You guys are gonna be so obsessed with this recipe. Please share this recipe with your friends and family. It is so delicious. It is gonna be a hit for Thanksgiving, for dinner, anything you make. I can't get over it. It's so, it's so good. But if you see, this is the, um, the Mac uh, pasta version, and then here you have the cauliflower. So it's very, very similar. You just have obviously different textures. This is pasta with gluten, and then this here is just a vegetable. So for it being a vegetable version, I'm so obsessed with it. I honestly, I wish Donnie and Nathi were here to try it. It is probably one of my favorite dishes we've made on the channel. So make sure that you give this a try. Tag me on Instagram so that I can share your recreations. I love watching you guys remake my recipes. It makes me so, so happy. And of course, make sure that you are following me on all my platforms, Instagrams, Low Carb Love. I do have a TikTok account, which is Low Carb Love as well. And of course on here, make sure that you do have your post notifications turned on so that you don't miss any of my videos. Guys, I love you so much. You guys are gonna be obsessed with this recipe. I cannot wait to hear what you think. Comment down below and let me know what other recipes you would like to see me transform into a low carb keto version. I will see you on the next video.